there's the flower and there's one of the tomatoes and this one is another tomato here this, this is the broccoli I never thought it will turn out to be this big and I've harvested this one already see the stump has been taken out already and that is our flower another one this one is um, uh, parsley I don't know if it's parsley or coriander I throw them and this is the lettuce which is a remnant for the ones that was eaten by the chicken this one is basil, still it is small. Okay, and I planted some flowers for attracting the bees. There's also that's the reason why there are colored flowers here. And this one also. This is for the bees because the bees will be used for pollination. And this one here is a tomato. And I just realized that there are plenty of techniques on how to produce a giant tomatoes but I mix it up with uh, something called a lokbati okay this one is big and about tomatoes tomatoes is supposed to be prone or as they said to sucker them meaning not to allow extra branches so that they'll produce with tomatoes for example this one here this one can be taken off if it is an extra one so that they will produce giant tomatoes such as this one here see this one here okay and this is the malungay and this malungay is just a remaining of what somebody was somebody has cut it and stolen it somehow so we don't know how to do gardening and that one there is another malungay. This one we enjoy. This one we have harvested. I also have here lemongrass. I planted a lot of lemongrass. Okay. And now they become very robust because I put some compost. This is some of the tomatoes which I experimented to make a giant tomato. See this one here? How big it is. Just one like that. And this one is ginger. They're already big, so they're flowering already. That one there is radis. Radis can grow so big leaves. And this is another lemongrass. And this one here is another malungay. This is already potatoes ready for harvesting. That's a new potato plant there. Also have kangkong plants. Okay, this one it used to be very small, but I fertilized them with the urea fertilizer and compost. And this one here is pumpkin flowers, which is under the tree. See this one? There is some tree here. And there, these are basils there. 